Well, a busy weekend of travel is hitting a lot of Americans with respiratory viral illnesses, and that is kind of starting a holiday surge here, according to the CDC. Viruses like COVID, the flu, and RSV are expected to send the same number of people to the hospital this season as last season. So we need to protect ourselves and our children. RSV in particular is taking a toll on children nationwide. And here in Colorado, the state health department is predicting a peak in cases soon. So let's Let's learn about it. Dr. Danielle Dollywall is with me. She is a pediatric in intensivist with the Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children. Thank you very much for being here. And uh, you just came from work, you told I me. I did, I did, and yes. The, and, uh, so RSV, first of all, a lot of folks need to be caught up on, on this virus and what it does, why it affects children. Let's start from there, okay? Uh, RSV is called respiratory syncytial virus. Um, it, it can affect uh, it can infect any age group, but we certainly see the large majority of hospitalizations in babies three months or younger. Mm -hmm. um, they seem to have the the most higher highest rates of lower respiratory tract infection and complications. Um, we're certainly seeing an uptick in the last couple weeks, mm -hmm. uh, and we do anticipate that that's going to keep going up. Uh, we had an uptick during COVID, too, of RSV, right? I mean, there was one in recent years. It, there, it kind of surprisingly reared its head. Yeah, the pattern for RSV has been uh, atypical the past few years because mm -hmm. of COVID. Um, when people were wearing masks and washing their hands, staying at home, we yeah. saw uh, rates really plummet. Um, and then the following we year, we saw it in the summer, whereas usually we see it in the winter. Uh, last year was particularly hard. Uh, I think we were, seeing, we were seeing it in kids two to five, uh, which is not the usual demographic, but I think, uh, and those kids hadn't been exposed because of COVID and things like that. Right. So now I think we're gonna start seeing a little bit more of a typical pattern this year. Mm -hmm. uh, and going forward, that might change with uh, newer vaccines that are coming out against. It. Okay, I wanna get the vaccines very quickly, but I mean, of course, this is a respiratory virus, so it's spread through the air, and that's why masks helped out a bit, right? Exactly. Okay, uh, now let's talk about vaccinating our children. When, how much, you know, how often, that sort of thing, and things have changed in recent uh, times, right? Things have changed a lot. Um, there's a vaccine available for pregnant women, uh, and they can get that towards the end of their pregnancy, but it has to be given within two, we uh, two weeks, uh, or mm -hmm. at least two weeks from delivery. And that's great at protecting babies um, after they're born, immediately after they're born. Uh, there's another vaccine that's available that we can give to children. Um, and we have availability of that in the hospital. I don't believe it's generally available in the community right now, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, but that's available for kids less than uh, eight months um, okay. and can uh, going into the respiratory season and then also for the following respiratory season. Okay, but you're gonna wanna ask your physician and get those Absolutely. vaccines. That's the important Absolutely. thing. Absolutely, yeah. highly effective. Gotcha. Very few side effects. Let's do that. All right, thank you very much. You can find this full interview and many more on our website at cbscolorado.com. Thank you very much, doctor.